everybody. Um, I don't even know that I should be doing this video, but have you ever had a screw that you had to get into a place where having a magnetic screwdriver or something similar would have been great? Trusty snap-on screwdriver, screw. Zero magnetism, and it's a regular tip and a Phillips head screw, I know, but this is just for demonstration. So, I'm going to show you how to make any screwdriver magnetic. Now, the disclaimer. Never, ever do this with an open battery. Never be near your battery when you do this. This is my camper that I take out in the desert and play around in the gold fields. So I have a battery set up in the box that I put studs on and ran wires to the battery terminal so I have positive and negative. Um, that's just so I can clip onto this and run my uh, recirculating pump. So what I'm gonna do is, and it doesn't matter which side is negative, which side is positive, I'm gonna run my jumper leads so I can stay away from the battery. That's really important because batteries sometimes expel gas and this is gonna make a spark. So if you're near your battery, and you have gases, you're going to blow yourself up. So that's another disclaimer. Don't blow yourself up. So do it like I'm doing, preferably with a pair of jumper cables and quite a distance from the battery. So what you want to do is take your screwdriver, your socket, whatever you're working with, and you want to take a piece of wire. You want a heavy piece of wire. You don't want a little skinny, girly piece of wire and you want to coil that wire around your socket or your screwdriver whatever you're working with and you want to try and keep the coils tight and you want a lot of them and this is only temporary by the way this won't be magnetized permanently but if you, like I said, if you find yourself in a situation where you need to have a magnetized screwdriver or a socket or whatever, this will work for you. Okay, this is basically what you're looking for. You want this coiled around like that. Hook one end to one end of your wire and you want to bear the two ends. And then you want to touch... And like I said, it's, it's something you don't want to do near your battery because it's going to spark. It's going to get hot. But you want to touch both ends on your wire. And I can feel that wire getting hot under my thumb right now. That's a good thing for what we're doing. A bad thing if you are hoping to live a long time. So just touch the two wires together. Let them get good and hot. And you can do that several times. The more you do it, the more magnetized it's going to get. This is only a demonstration, of course. So then we'll take our coil off. And then we have a magnetized screwdriver. Socket, or whatever the case may be. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Very easy. Very dangerous. So like I said, disclaimers out the kazoo. If anybody blows themselves up, I don't want to hear about it. This is just something that I do when I need a magnetized screwdriver. Same thing will work for a socket. Any kind of metal, actually. Um, a wrench is a little tougher. You really have to put some effort into it to get the wrench magnetized if you're holding a bolt or a nut. But... That's all I got. I hope this helps somebody out, and um, enjoy your day.